Hello everybody, it's not Wednesday, even though I have war games, which you would normally have on Wednesday, so you'd be like, shouldn't this be a Warrior Wednesday episode? Well, it's Monday, so it's not. This is a, just showing off some war games um, that I have. Uh, it's Civil War games, mostly all these are Civil War games, and uh, you're asking me why am I showing you off all these Civil War games? Two different editions of Battlecry from Avalon Hill and American Civil War. And then this is not exactly Civil War, but this is French. It's Napoleon in Europe. Which, it's done by the same company that is American Civil War. and Played kind of similar. Well, the real reason is because I have a whole bunch of game pieces and parts mixed in both games so uh this game right here has parts to some other games in it this one has boards this one i think is actually complete um this one has some parts to it from game, other games this one has parts to it from uh, uh battle cry and other games this one has pieces to it from the the Civil War games and other games, so uh, and Battle Cry, of course. Uh, so let's just look at it here. Um, these are the pieces to, I believe, Tide of Iron. Tide of Iron, if I find that box, it has stuff to it from other games, too. Uh, I believe these are also Tide of Iron pieces here. Here are some extra Lionheart pieces because the Lionheart box I played eventually broke. Here are the stands to Lionheart. Here are the uh, aeroplanes to uh, game. Uh, game. The box probably tore up on me. Um, dogfight. These are pieces of Dogfight. Here's some more of those uh, Tide of Iron or something, game something like that. Here's some more Lionheart pieces. Here's some more German pieces for, again. These are all the uh, cards here for um, Dogfight here. It's like two games. I believe there's like two games, two or three games of Dogfight there. Here are the map piece towels to Battlecry. And this is either Tide of Iron or another game. These are the pieces to, I believe, Hit the Beach, an old uh, Milton Bradley game called Hit the Beach. So, you got to see a bunch of pieces. Yay! Everybody loves to see pieces. So that's... As you can see, I try not to waste spaces with my boxes, and I try to merge games with other games together. This one, of course, also has pieces. Um, it has the pieces to the American Civil War and uh, from Eagle Games, and of course, Battle Cry. And some of the stickers have either A fell off of some of the figures. It's also got pieces to uh, another Civil War game that I had. Or that's one of the, and it also has, may have some uh, little American Civil War miniatures. Like miniature army men figures might be in there too. Um, Here's the grays, uh, the blues, which those blues in there also represent the uh, Europe. Now, I have some more pieces for uh, added games where I made my own little factions. I made like a Texas. I made a, so here's the red. So the blues for the French are also in there. Here are the reds for the British. I also bought some pieces that were yellow 
and other colors. I think I made a yellow so I could have a Mexico, Texas faction. Uh, I'm not sure where they are. They're in a metal tin somewhere. Um, because I created my own little game. Uh, I think I have two copies of this particular American Civil War game. That's probably why I have one rule book not used. Yeah, I'm not using my stand today. I'm using my hand. So, uh, do y'all like it better when I use the stand or just, you know, hold my phone? I'm gonna have a look. As you can see, there's a lot of rules, but there's a lot of illustrations of how to do the combat sequence. So, it's good. And then there's, of course, scenarios and notes. And uh, I have this game, War Age of Imperialism. So, if y'all want to see a video about it, I will um, do it. And here's that one right there, Napoleon in Europe. Um, yeah. You got this, which I played a lot so it, of it, so it got stains and stuff. Here's the Battle Cry gameplay manual for this copy. I believe I've laminated the other copy, but it's pretty much <laughs> the same game. That's why I didn't even punch out the pieces. Yeah, see, this box has the pieces to this versions. Um, Battle Cry. It also has the cards. These are the cards to this version. And these are the cards to this version. The pieces in there are the pieces in that box of Battle Cry are the pieces to this version. And the pieces down here that haven't been punched out yet are the pieces to this version of this these right here that haven't even been used out yet and then um yeah i haven't put the stickers on yet and then, uh, I'm like these, these Battle of the Alamo sets. I bought those in these American Revolutionary War. I bought these so I could have some additional pieces. Um, these are some rules I made for a uh, game. Um, A alternate Civil War universe here. Um, Northwest Conspiracy. Um, fall 1864. This is a uh, a alternate history here where you have a Northwest Confederacy and a Northwest Conspiracy thing. Um, it's historical. Could have happened, but didn't. Um, type deal. There's an alternate history. Um, rules for an alternate universe. Civil War. Texas won independence from Mexico and took over Mexico City. Uh, Dallas, Texas. Rangers. For 15... On this board, you don't see a Dallas. Um, let me just show you what I'm talking about because you need the board to kind of understand those rules. Hold on. I told you I had two copies. See, here's the secondary board. But look how big the board is. The board's so huge. Anyway, the board's so huge that it's like nine mini boards. There's actually three different boards that split. I played the game so much when I was like a teenager or whatever 
young adult or whatever because I like this game. It was awesome. Um, I played basically the game so much that I folded the boards to the point where they all eventually broke and now I have nine individual spaces. As you can see, you have rail stock. There's a European intervention chart. They get to this 12 here. There's war with Canada. Uh, Canada comes in to place. Mexico comes in in place, but it's controlled by um, France. This is what I'm talking about. See this city? This city would be Dallas, Texas in my alternate universe game. Um, the blue states represent the north. The gray states represent the south. So you can see each area. Um, and here's what I'm talking about. Um, this happens in 1864, which there is a time here 1864 so here's a possibility of something you could do Kentucky Indiana Illinois and Ohio which are right here these four they create their own little state their own little country um August 16th 1864 so it would be August 1864 um Chicago gets two regiments this is for the Northwest Confederacy. Um, Chicago gets two regiments. Indianapolis gets one regiment. One regiment of troops, of Union troops. Uh, so this area would get created its own little country. And uh, certain state cities like Chicago here, you you put two regiments there. So in my rules, you put one regiment in each area, one one Northwest Conspiracy Regiment, one, two, so three, four, five, six, seven. So you put one in Ohio, one in Indiana, one in Illinois, and then you put one in each one of these cities. Just like you would in, uh, I think it's the right thing that you can cause in the game. Uh, this is just a little bonus thing. Uh, where was those other rules? Hold on. So here's another additional thing. Um, so in this particular case, you get Texas starts right here. Um. They get Texas, Mexico City, and I believe I gave them the Indian Territory. And I think I made this territories right here in actual land, and you, like, divide. There's one there, and then two, and it's like, you make that into, like, two spaces. Divide it in half, like, maybe there, top, bottom, or something. Divide it between the rivers, some kind of way. Anyway. So, you give them that, they have that area. You could, if you wanted to, give them Kansas. But, I don't think it, I don't really think you should give them Kansas. But if you wanted to give them a little bit more power, they're going to take Kansas, is not too powerful, hard. So, you could give them Indian Territory, you could divide into two spaces. You give them Texas, which is divided into three. Plus, you make this a city. You give them Mexico, which is these two, and they have Mexico City. Uh, then you give them the territories, and they have basically this is one, two spaces. The border ends where the river is. So you got this river, and you got this river. You just, you know, one space, two space, you know. Right. Okay. So they can put out... Uh, it says, I, I gave Texas one cavalry, one artillery, and five infantry in Dallas, Texas. Um, that's not quite where Dallas probably is geographically, but still. Um, Texas also starts with um, 
one cavalry, three infantry on Mexico City, and five infantry and one cavalry in the territories, which are here. And the Indian territories are part of Texas. Because um, in this game, all your soldiers don't start in the areas. They start... Now, there's diplomacy, war, and conscription are the uh, political initiatives. In this particular game, I gave conscription creates riots in Mexico City. And those riders get, of course, the five production points. Uh, there's rules in the rule book about how the rider system works. Then there's diplomacy. You can have peace with the north or the south, and you pay 10 production points to the north, or you get... So you pay the north 10 production points if you're going to stay in peace with the north. You have to pay them, which means you can't take Kansas if you you know, take peace with the North. That basically means the North is not going to come down and attack you. That's, at least for that turn anyway. Um, or the South has to pay you 10 production points so that you don't attack them. And you focus your attention on the North. So basically, Texas helps the South... Or it helps the North. Either way, Texas, Texas could move in like this. Or Texas could move in like that. Now, historically, Texas was probably more pro-Southern than pro-Northern. But you decide in this game. That's why I created that rule. Um, And, of course, they have a third, which is war. War on the South. War on the South. South go, gains 15 production points, one cavalry, three infantry, but only after they emancipate the slaves. So, basically, in this particular game, uh, Texas is neutral, uh, and they don't attack the South unless they declare war on the South. So, it's better to get paid is better to pick the diplomacy method now that doesn't mean they can't be secretly funding the north a little bit so that they can weaken the south but as long as they don't declare war on the south now texas has already technically declared war in against the north because they're historically with thing but i could if i wanted to i could add that they could declare war on the North, too. Which, more than likely, if they've already invaded Kansas, they've already declared it. So, now, the Texas does not use the political initiative for the European diplomacy to Europe because Britain's on the North side until they declare war with them and start with two navy and one realm. So, then the political initiatives for Britain are conscription. The, in this particular game, Britain, I already have Britain starting out on the game, which is these three. So, they don't have to worry about the war thing. Britain is a free slave country. Start with five infantry, two cavalry, and one artillery anywhere in Canada. Um, they have diplomacy, which is the same as Texas, except North get the 10, except they pay the North, except they pay the South to 10, and they collect 10 from the North. That's how the, uh, it works for them. Um, conscription, any two cities of riders in the, in Canada. That's how that works. Um, French War, half production, half Americans, half goes to see the new polling in Europe game only after using one other political initiative. Political initiatives for North and South are, of course, they both have the emancipation of the slaves. 
Conscription, I'm terrible at writing. Um, they both can seek support in this intervention. Seek support intervention south only, war with Britain north only. See rule book for first two. North Force Conspiracy South Only. Um, south Only, same as rules except Britain is against North. No people's army gained, just not allies anymore because people are already on board. North Only, same rules except Britain gains three naval and one ten bonus PP per turn from Europe. European intervention starts at Nine goes up or down this way. Texas or South take a Union City goes down one. North takes Southern City goes up one. North War with Britain goes down three. Texas takes a British City plus one. The South frees the slave negative three. North frees the slaves plus three. Texas War with the South plus three. Texas takes the Southern City, minus one. South takes the Texas City, minus one. French War, plus one. Um, the neutral states in the Northwest Conspiracy become Kentucky, Indiana, Illinois, and Ohio, and the two cities, Chicago and Indianapolis, form their own government. Roll one die per region. They give one to three troops for each region, and they act like rioters. Uh, here is the production points for North, South, Texas, Britain. Uh, the naval ratings for those. All other rules are the same as the rule book. And how the win is North take all the South and Texas. S Texas City. If Texas is not at war with the South. South takes eight Northern cities or, and one British cities. And all to and the te city to Texas City if at war with Texas. Texas takes over six northern cities, two British cities if ally with South. If not, eight southern cities, four northern cities, and one British city. Britain eliminates Texas or takes seven southern cities and a Texas city if ally with the North. If not, they take over five northern cities and five southern cities and a Texas city. So that's my alternate history version where we have a Texas where where I made basically the American Civil War a four player game where you have Texas and Canada. Now I had this thought uh, idea if I could combine Napoleon in Europe with the American Civil War and have them going on simultaneously. Now for another board, the Battle Cry board. This is basically the Battle Cry board. There are famous generals on the side. And this is the board that you use to put all those hex hexes for the uh, Battle Cry game that y'all go on this board. Now we have Napoleon in Europe. I don't remember if I showed you the back of each of these boards, boxes or not. So there's the back of that one. Yes, I put my thing on the stand. There's the back of the one of the battle cries. Here's the back of the other battle cry. And here's the Napoleon in Europe, and of course, here's the back of the Napoleon in Europe box. Which I will po actually post pictures. I've been posting pictures of all the games that I try and <laughs> that I've been unboxing lately. I've been posting pictures on my Instagram, so go ahead and check out Instagram. Now, if you want to just, I will probably skip to 25 uh, or 20 something. Uh, if you, I could have just did a separate 
unboxing of this game. Which I may have to do if I run out of time anyway. So, um, I'm just going to do this anyway. And I'm probably going to do a <coughs> separate unboxing of the, uh, this game because I, uh, may run out of time. <coughs> And I think some people might just want an individual unboxing of this game. So it's the basic rules. Now we got the standard rules. And yes, this game has a lot of rules. But it still somewhat plays just like um, the... Uh, American Civil War game. When it comes to battling and whatnot, I think it plays pretty much similar. Now, I don't remember if I put those pieces I was talking about in separate uh, That's the standard rules. Now here's some advanced rules. So the game ain't tough enough for you. You got advanced rules now. <clears throat> now this game also comes with scenarios, which is nice. Uh, here's how you're supposed to set up the scenario. And here's the information about the scenario. So the first scenario is the rise of Napoleon back in 1796. Scenario 2 is the Second Coalition in the 1800s. Did anybody watch the Napoleon movie? Third scenario is Peace and Options. Fourth scenario, oh, which is 1802. Fourth scenario is 1805, Dash for the Dunby. Ostrich Brilliance. Here's the map for scenario 4. Scenario 5. So Fifth scenario is 1806 to 1807. Who's next? The sixth scenario is 1809 to Austrian Phoenix and the Squish Quagmire. There's scenario six and seven's maps. Scenario eight, I mean seven and eight's maps. Yeah, no, six, seven. There's scenario eight's Into Russia with Love. There's the map for that one. 9, 18, 13, 18, 14, defending the Empire. 10, not again. So there's map for 9 and the map for 10. And that's all the scenarios. Scenario 10, uh, every man for himself. And then um, designer notes. Yeah, there's a lot of designer notes. So they, they went all out in this one. Uh, final words and credits, more info, and then there's an index here in the back. Then, of course, I have all these. I have Civilization, so if y'all want to see a unboxing of Civilization, tell me. I just really did just did an unboxing of this one in Battlecry um, uh, before this this right here. And I have this war, Age of Imperialism, so if you want to see that one, comment down below. So, um... Here are all the uh, horses and whatnot. Here are different pieces. You got blue, purple, red, yellow, blue, gray, green. You know, you got all these different pieces. And uh, let's show you the board. But first, let's show you the battle board and this board. Just like the. Uh, Civil War when they had that. And there's the main man himself, Napoleon. Who's this guy? 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 They tell you who they are. This is the Great Britain people, France people, Spanish people, the Austrian Empire people, 
the Ottoman Empire people, the Russian Empire people, and the Prussia people. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven factions. And there you go, have it, the Borg. It, yes, it is huge. Has all this artwork on the board too, of these like sea monsters and mermaids and stuff. Pretty cool. Uh, there you go, Great Britain, Bay of Vescany, Mid Atlantic. There you go, Eagle Games. I like that. Here you go, the Barbary Coast. All these is like you got all these sea zones. You got Spain. You got Spain here. Here is it. France here. Let's see. This here you go. The Austrian Empire here. Here you go. Right here, the Ottoman Empire, Constantinople, the Black Sea. Here you go. The Russian. This is the Prussian Empire here, and I think this is the Russian Empire. Uh, this might be part of, yeah, this is part of Austrian right here. The, the forces aren't exactly even, which is historical. Um, you got this little, this is Napoleon, I believe, forces right here. Um, or maybe that's Prussia's forces, and maybe this is Russia's forces. It would have been nice if they would have put this symbol by the 